What up guys, Matt Long 6 here, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to set up your hopper node on your dap node in order for you guys to start earning rewards today and showing your support to the HopperNet ecosystem and their MixNet. So what Hopper actually does with their MixNet is they take the metadata in your transaction and they make it more secure and hidden. So an example of their MixNet at work would be, uh, let's say that you need to send some medical records to your doctor. So they'll take the metadata of your medical records and they will make it secure and hidden. So that way no one's able to see your medical records except for you and your doctor on other blockchains that other people may be able to access that metadata uh, but with the hopper net it is impossible and if you would like to get your own dap node then definitely consider using my code matlong6 to get a nice discount off your dap node order and you could also consider getting the hopper branded dap node which would give you a small amount of hopper tokens in order to help you start running your hopper node anyways guys without further ado let's get started so the first thing I suggest you do is go ahead and log in to your DAP node admin portal, go over to the DAP store and then make sure you download Hopper. After that, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and go to Hopper's website here, link in the description. It'll come to this page right here. We'll talk to you everything you need to know about staking and uh, even what a Hopper safe is um, and stuff like that so what we're going to need to do is click go to onboarding connect your metamask and then over here it says that it should take about 20 minutes to set up your safe and join the network waitlist then you're going to make sure that you have enough hopper to stake so in the future i'm going to make a video on how to get all of your hopper so let's say you buy ethereum on coinbase how to get it all the way onto the gnosis chain in your metamask wallet in the future However, for this video, I'm assuming that you've already done that. So you're going to need at least 30,000 wrapped hopper tokens on the XDAI chain, which XDAI has been renamed the Gnosis chain, the G is silent. Or if you run a hopper node in the past, then you probably have a network registry NFT, which looks like this. So another thing you could consider doing is buying a network registry token, um, link in the description to niftyfair.io. And down here, they have uh, Hopper Boost NFTs, and then you could actually buy a network registry right here. Now do not buy any of the other Hopper NFTs unless you actually want them because they are no longer uh, increase your stake or anything, but they are pretty so you can buy them if you think they're pretty anyways let's continue on so what we're going to do is i'm going to go through this step by step walk you guys through it try to answer any questions that may come up or let me know in the comments down below or you can join hopper's discord or telegram group let them know that i sent you matt long six and feel free to ask them questions anyways guys let's go ahead and get started right now so some things that you may want to keep in mind, however, will not apply to most of you guys would be make sure that you've already unstaked from at season eight, which was the last season that you were allowed to stake for free on Hopper without running node. Now you need a node in order to stake. So make sure you unstake. So I still have my 10,000 Hopper tokens here and then make sure to convert all of your X Hopper into wrapped Hopper. So link in the description for the wrapper and uh, just Make sure you switch it all to wrap hopper and you'll be good to go so after you downloaded it on dap node the first thing you're actually going to have to do to start your node is to uh, go ahead and create a safe on hopper so what the safe is you deposit some hopper and uh, maybe some x die into the safe and then that's how much your node will be allowed to use in order to process transactions and stuff like that to support their mix net and if somehow someone ever got a hold of your node um maybe they stole your dap node or something and they got access to it they are only able to take and steal what's in this safe and nothing out of your actual wallet so let's go ahead and deploy our safe now. So in order to enable the NFT transfer, if you have one, you're going to need to go over here to uh, dashboard 
and here you'll be able to see how much money and whatnot your node has earned and take your safe address here and copy it so since i have the nft we're going to go ahead and transfer that nft right now to my safe approve the transaction now, if you do not have the network registry NFT, then sadly, you're going to have to choose this option that requires at least 30,000 RAPX hopper tokens. But we have the NFT, so we're going to select this option and click continue. So now we need to fund our safe. So don't forget to wrap your X hopper if it's still X hopper rather than the wrapped X hopper. And then make sure you also have enough X die and hopper to fund your actual safe. So in this case, you need a minimum of two X die and a minimum of 10,000 or 30,000 hopper tokens. One other helpful resource you guys may need is a Gnosis faucet to deposit X die. Um, this is just in case you need some funds in order to like approve some transactions and stuff. So in this case, I'm just gonna do all of it. Now, don't forget to uh, wrap it just in case you haven't already and confirm. And that now all you need to do is wait for it to be deposited into your safe. And how you check that is you go over here to dashboard and it should appear right here. Oh, there you go, it just appeared. And now we can continue on to the next step. So let's go ahead and click continue. And we have the DAP node, so we can go ahead and click that and click continue. So we've already installed the hopper package. So next we're going to need to go ahead and make sure we insert our safe address and our model address into our DAP node. So now that we're back on our DAP node, we're going to go ahead and go to hopper here and then click config. And then we're going to scroll down here and copy and paste our uh, safe address into the staking safe and then the module address here. So we're gonna do that by going back over here and copying our safe address, and then we're gonna paste it, and then get your module address, and do the same thing. Please make sure that your IP address is correctly set. Note the last four digits, cause you are gonna need those. Next, you need to figure out what your IP address is. So let's go ahead and go over to Google and type in what is my IP. It should tell you your IP. Let's go ahead and copy this and then go back to uh, your DAP node and paste it, but keep the colon in the last four digits and then hit update. Perfect. So the next thing we're gonna need to do is apply on the wait list. So let's go ahead and go to this form right here. And uh, one thing you're gonna need to know is what your node address is. We already know what your hopper safe address is. So let's go ahead and get your node address. So what you're gonna need to go over to adapt node, then you're gonna need to open up your hopper and then go over to your logs. Now here, it should tell you your node address. However, if it doesn't show up, you may need to go back to info and then click restart. After it restarts, you can go back to your logs and it should appear pretty quickly um, right here. And then do you already have the NFT? I do, you may not. How much would you like to be informed once you're able to join the network? So you can contact via Telegram, please email me, or you'll just monitor the wait list and do it manually. In this case, I'm gonna have them email me. And then what is your name? You don't have to tell them your name if you don't want to, but I'm gonna go ahead and put in Matt and submit. Now do keep in mind that it may take over a week for you to be approved on the wait list. If you wanna know where you are in the position of wait list, you can click here. And then once you finally are approved, you can go ahead and continue on with the rest of the setup. Now, while you guys are waiting on the wait list, you now may be wondering where in the world did I get this cool little Bitcoin pillow? Well, you see, I got this cute little Bitcoin pillow from Blockcraft, who is sponsoring this segment of this episode. Guys, use code MATLONG6 to also get a, an additional little bonus gift when you buy from their Etsy store. Anyways, guys, definitely go check it out. They got more than just Bitcoin pillows. And let's continue on with setting up our Hopper node with that node. And there you have it, guys. It actually took about a month to uh, be accepted on the wait list. So keep that in mind that there may be a waiting period until you actually get accepted. Let's go ahead and continue from here. So now what we're gonna need to do is add our node. So we need to get our node address from our DAP node. Let's go ahead and paste that in here and continue. And then you're gonna need to sign with your MetaMask. Make sure that you are on the Gnosis blockchain and didn't get changed while you're waiting for approval and hit sign. And then you may need to sign it twice. So let's go ahead and hit confirm. 
then we need to go ahead and send our funds from our safe to our node. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm actually going to go ahead and send two. Um, you only need one, but I'm going to send two just in case and confirm and then go ahead and set your hopper allowance. So in this case, I'm just going to do the default suggested value and execute and confirm the transaction. There you go. Your node has been added. You are ready to go. You are now earning funds and we can go over here and view your staking overview and you can see how much you earn and everything like that. You can change your hopper allowance here and you can also go to on your dap node and go to your hopper UI. Now you're able to connect to the admin panel. So the last thing you're actually going to need to do is port forward. You may need to talk to your internet service provider on how to do that. But what you're going to need to do is put the outbound and inbound of port forwarding 9091 using the protocol TCP and UDP. If you need help finding your MAC address, it should be on the bottom of your DAP node. So now that you've port forwarded, what you're going to need now is to go to the Hopper UI and uh, make sure that you open up some channels. So what you're going to need to do is go back to your DAP node and go to your packages and then click UI. Here, it should automatically have you connect to your node automatically, but if it doesn't, if you need to figure out where your API token is, go to config and here is your API token. Now, if you're still having issues with connecting to the UI, you may need to go to your advanced settings and then make sure that, um, hopper announce is turn from false to true so here you are this is what the hopper nodes ui looks like so what you're going to want to do now is go to your peers and then you're going to want to close the thing so that way you can see all the options and you want to select to add a channel now if you're having issues with your peers not showing up you may need to go back to your dap node and hit restart so next you need to decide how much hopper you're going to give to this channel. So even one single hopper token is good enough to get started. However, I would do a small amount per channel, like 10 to 50 hopper. In this case, I'm just going to choose 25 hopper personally. And if a channel runs out of hopper, you can still close and reopen it. And always remember that gas fees are pretty cheap on Gnosis. So now that you open a channel to one of your peers, you can go ahead and go to the channel out section and you can see all of the channels that you've added. And there you have it. Now, how it's gonna work is that there's a ticket section right here that you're gonna to need to claim. However, Hopper has made it so that way it now automatically claims so you don't have to manually do it anymore. And you can go back to your safe address back where we originally made the node. And at right here, it will start telling you how many tickets have been redeemed as well as how much hopper you have earned for running your node and for staking. So if you have any other questions about hopper, feel free to let me know down in the comments, or if you need more technical help, then definitely join hoppers, telegram or discord. They are very helpful over there, especially shout out to Yuri, who has been very helpful in helping me set up my own node to make this video. Anyways, guys, don't forget to use my discount Matt long six to get a nice discount off your own dap node in case you would like to start running your own hopper node hope you guys found this video helpful let me know in the comments down below what you thought about it and as always guys stay safe trade safe and god bless peace in case you would like to start in case you would like to start in case you would like to start in case you would like to start